Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's Daniela. Today is gonna be a cooking video. I literally just got home from school. I came home, I was charging my camera for a bit, and then I decided to film. But we are going to be making chicken fajita quesadillas. I think that's how you can call it. I mean, it's pretty much gonna be like chicken or vegetables, and then it's gonna be inside of quesadillas. I just started thinking about what to eat today, and this came up to my mind. So we're gonna make it, and I'm just gonna chit chat, you know? Let's just get into it. Let's get our ingredients and get started because I'm honestly starving. I didn't even eat lunch at school, so your girl is hungry. Pretty much, honestly, I would usually put more like bell peppers in this recipe. Like I would put like more colorful ones, but I only have a green one today, so we're gonna have to work with it. We're gonna need a bell pepper, an onion. We're not gonna use all of this onion, but you know, onion. And then a tomato, shredded cheese. You're gonna need some whole wheat tortillas, flour tortillas, because these are the bomb for quesadillas. And don't worry, you can use the regular ones. I just like to like try to switch up as many things as I can to make them healthier, so. Yeah. And then, the most important part. The chicken. Oh, I almost forgot too. We're gonna need either like oil or like a little bit of butter just so like it doesn't stick to the pan, you know? I try to like get the best angle so you guys can like see me actually cook instead of just my face but it's kind of difficult. I honestly, when I make like chicken fajitas or whatever, I know people are gonna come at me how I say that, so I'm just gonna put a silly voice when I say it. Whenever I cut like my bell peppers for it, I honestly like them kind of like strips instead of like squares, but you can cut it however you want. My vegetables are already washed, so don't be coming at me and saying I did not wash my vegetables. Next up, the onion, which is not my favorite because then I'm gonna start crying, but it's okay. This is so hard to film because I'm literally like bending down. I like my onion slices to be pretty thin. It's not that like I hate onions. I honestly love onions, but sometimes it's just a little overpowering and I think that's good enough. My sister's probably gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, wow, you weren't making me food? No, because you went to go eat tacos yesterday and you did not take me, so this is payback. This knife is not sharp enough. So when I cut my tomato, I like to cut it into like dice mode. I like to dice it. Yeah, that's how you say it. I like to dice it instead of leaving it into strips just because just because i'm just gonna go ahead and cut my chicken i don't think you guys need to see that it's really not that fun so i'm gonna cut it up real quick usually when i cook stuff like this and i want to use like a healthy alternative for like a fat um which like butter oil those types of things i'll use like coconut oil or like olive oil stuff like that it's just a better alternative than regular like canola oil but today i don't even have any of those so i'm gonna have to use some butter Ugh, this chicken also i wanted to talk about something real quick as well on my last video, I, after that video, I got messages asking like, can you please do a story time about like your breakup or whatever, like for my last breakup. Honestly, you guys, I'm just gonna say it here. And the reason why I'm gonna say it here, not like on Snapchat or anything, because I know people who truly and genuinely watch me will like see this part of the video. And if I'm being real, this happened like so many months ago that I, I'm okay. And I'm like great at the point in my life right now. So I don't really want to talk about it anymore. It's just kind of unnecessary. And I know some people are probably going to comment down below and going to be like, Then why are you talking about it right now? But it's just for the people who are still curious about it. I understand where you're coming from because I was on a platform at that time. But times have changed, you know. I've grown as a person throughout these months. And I'm just so much more happier where I'm at in my life. That's all I'm going to say about that. And um, let's get back into my cooking. <laughs> So I'm gonna warm up my pan. I think you guys could hear me turn on the stove. I'm gonna warm it up and I'm gonna add my butter in there real quick. And then once the butter's fully melted, that's when I'm gonna add my vegetables, season the vegetables a little bit. And then lastly, my chicken. This was kind of ugly. And from there, once all that's done, then we're gonna make the quesadilla and then add the chicken to the quesadilla and eat it. I'm so excited. I was putting my camera on my tripod so I can obviously start filming and I thought I had secured the camera good enough, but I didn't and my camera fell and hit the floor. Fell and hit the floor. It hit the floor. I literally have a mini heart attack. Ooh, my butter's melted completely. Okay, ooh, ooh, girl, mm. All right, so as you guys can see, the butter is completely melted. You guys probably can't. I'm just gonna add my onion, my tomato, and my bell pepper. So we're just gonna let that sizzle and cook a little bit, and in the meantime, I'll just like keep talking like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I do like making cooking videos and like showing them with you guys. It's just kind of like my little meditation and like happy moment. I love to cook, I love to bake more, but I like to cook as well. 
when I'm hungry. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, please comment that down below and like this video and I will definitely know, okay, you guys like cooking videos. Okay, you guys like making, making? <laughs> I was trying to say makeup. Okay, you guys like makeup videos. If you guys don't have me on social media, I would definitely suggest you guys to follow me or to, yeah, follow, yeah, it's follow, right? Follow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I always post updates on YouTube videos or let you guys know like, oh, I'm gonna upload this day, especially because I don't really have specific dates where I'm gonna be uploading like, oh, every Monday, every Tuesday. So on there, you guys will really like see when I'm gonna upload or why I'm not uploading. So now I'm gonna start seasoning the chicken and I'm gonna use my garlic salt. Ooh, I'm just gonna eyeball it to be honest. I think that's good. I think I kind of overdid it. And then a little bit of pepper. All right. I would show you guys like exactly the pan where I'm, what I'm doing and everything, but honestly, there's not good lighting, and I think it's better how I'm showing you guys. But can you guys hear that beauty right there? Well, let me just mix it up real quick. So for my quesadilla, I'm gonna be using, like I said, my whole wheat kind of flour tortilla thing thing to a tortilla <laughs> and some shredded cheese it's like a me it's like the mexican blend you get what i mean it's just cheddar cheese but whatever i have my warm tortilla i'm gonna add my cheese to it i'm making a mess right now <laughs> so let's just add the cheese oof i'm making a mess usually i would not make a quesadilla all the way up here but today we're gonna work with it and then just flip it and let that melt so I'll admit it, sometimes when like my tortilla is getting like crispy because I don't really like it like that, I'll eat it, but it's not like my favorite way to eat a quesadilla. When it's getting too crispy and the cheese is not fully melted, I'll put it in the microwave for like five seconds. Shh, don't tell anyone that. My quesadilla is done already and I'm just gonna grab my chicken little mixture and put it inside and then we'll have like a little taste test. We're gonna grab our chicken and kind of just like dump it on top, you know? Sorry that you guys can't see this angle, you guys. I'm kind of rushing because my camera's literally about to die. Oh my gosh, okay. This is how my quesadilla looks so far. Let's close it up and then let's give it a little taste test. Bomb. This is so bomb. Holy sh And I'm not only saying that because I made it, but it's genuinely so good. Oh my God. So if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new, turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.